note in there that uh, you make a uh, recommendation that we conduct a public hearing. And uh, what I would like council to uh, do is uh, pursuant to that request or that recommendation to uh, set a public hearing uh, for uh, the next council meeting uh, and uh, we entertain a motion to that effect. I move to set a public hearing to discuss the repurposing of the city hall property um, at the next council meeting, uh, which is going to be May 23rd. Yeah. At around 7 o'clock. Is there a second to that? Second. Discussion. Mr. Weisberger. So there's a big difference between. Uh, having a public hearing for and to meet uh, statutory requirements before property is transferred versus having an input in general session with the public like we've done before in other um, situations where we've done charrettes, we've done informative meetings. What's more important at this point, from my opinion, is to have those dialogue sessions as opposed to a public hearing. And, and the reason I say that isn't because we want to not hear from you here. We do. But it needs to be a dialogue. A uh, public hearing can be very much like we have open forum. And, and in that case, it's more of a one-sided listen, not an open dialogue to consider ideas. So I, I can't support having an open forum kind of public hearing. What I do want to do is I'm not going to support this vote. What I do want to do is follow this up with setting up some open dialogues and charrettes to talk about options. Because I don't know how that we've talked about the appearance. I don't know that we talked about location on the property. I don't know all of the other things that might be options for the CIC, the council, and the public to consider. Any other comments? Mr. Phelps. Um, just listening to, to Mr. Stewart, I heard him just say that dialogue and input from the public was important. In fact, he recommended a, a work session with Mr. Geis. I, I think that should come first before any public hearing. And I heard him more just talk about having public meetings as opposed to hearings, because again, that in my mind, like it does with Mr. Weisgerber, implies some sort of statutory uh, required hearing that's a predicate to the transfer of property and I too feel like I am not in any position to consider that just because this is the first time anybody from CIC on repurposing has addressed council and I have the same questions and more that were articulated by Mr. Weisgerber and um, I'm um, you know interested in finding out more about the process that also arrived at these particular recommendations and, and why, for instance, the three-story was, was uh, eliminated. I don't quite understand that. And again, I would uh, not be in favor of moving for a public hearing at this point in time. Any other comments? Mr. Teller. A public hearing is the process that we use, that we've used in the past for Welcome Station, for uh, all the big developments that we've done. So um, I guess I don't understand how now this, whatever you're proposing, would work. Any other comments? Yeah. Are you finished? Okay. Go ahead. So as you know, we have public hearings when we are about to take an official action. And that is where we sit here People come up to the podium in an official manner and have, I like it, I don't like it, here's what you should consider. It's not much of a dialogue. What we've also done, um, prior to other developments, we've had sessions where we work as an open dialogue, work session type of setting with residents, council, and others who are interested, like the CIC, to look at what are options, what if, Take a look at it when we talked about what's across the street. The first set of proposals delivered were way too dense, and we heard that from the residents. We heard that from the public. 
I still hear it's too dense and I get that, but the reality is it was a dialogue that shaped how the development came forward. Uh, and that's what a dialogue is as opposed to a public hearing which meets a statutory requirement. That's the real difference. Mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead. It was in the form of a public hearing where it was announced to the public, the public came in. You can still have a discussion. Uh, somebody asked a question about it, there can still be a discussion on it. I don't know that it's a one-sided event. I've never seen it as a one-sided event. That's, the, that's why you have a public hearing. I mean, you want to hear from people, and then if there are questions, you have somebody here who can answer them for it. The, uh, there's no one else. The recommendation is as follows. It is the recommendation of the CIC board that the City Council set, a, set public hearings, public hearings, to get an input from the community and to meet statutory requirements of the Ohio Revised Code to consider a two, two and a half, or four story option for mixed use development, including a new city hall on the current city hall property. Uh, plural. And I don't see any need to not follow this recommendation because out of the public hearing, which hopefully will occur two weeks from now, which will provide an opportunity for perhaps Mr. Geist to attend, perhaps people uh, from the community to uh, come and express queries similar to what Mr. Phelps just uh, made as to why no three-story option, um, maybe drill down into why uh, the recommendation for the city to be the owner-developer uh, doesn't mean that uh, out of that you couldn't have subsequent hearings or charrettes or whatever you may want to call them. So uh, I think that it's only prudent that to uh, continue this uh, process and in the spirit of full transparency to get public uh, input and present this to the uh, uh, public uh, per the recommendation of the Community Improvement Corporation and conduct a public hearing uh, next uh, uh, council meeting uh, for the purpose to gain input uh, and to meet the statutory requirements and uh, should it be deemed uh, advantageous, beneficial to have subsequent hearings, meetings, we can certainly do so. Uh, if you call the roll, please, Ms. Cheshire. You're going to change the venue so that where you can get in. Ms. Gross? Yes. Mr. Phelps? Yes. No. Vice Mayor Sattel? Yes. Mr. Weisberger? No. Ms. Bailey? No. Mayor Fitzgerald? Yes. Mr. Phelps, three and three. Well, that's very interesting. Uh, yeah. uh, very entertaining. Uh, uh, very interesting. Uh, moving. Uh, I want to thank you, uh, Jay. The uh, 